What's up guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're doing some more Batman Telltale series, picking up right where we left off. I'm really excited to continue this, honestly. From just from what we played last time, this seems like it's going to be really, really good. But of course, as always, I'm asking for your feedback in the comments down below. Uh, whether you guys really want to see this or not will be really up to you, uh, whether this continues or not. So let me know in the comments as the series goes on, you know, how you're liking it so far, and if you'd like it to be an actual full-on, like, if we do the whole season, because every episode is out at this point in time, so, uh, you'll have to let me know, and there will be a poll at the end of episode one, uh, which will give me a definitive yes or no, uh, in addition to all your comments, so it's gonna be really good feedback for me, so either way, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode, let's get it kicked off. Alright, so last time we were getting pretty much handled by that mob boss. Now it looks like we're in some sort of holding car or something. Doesn't look comfy is my point. Oh, it's an elevator. I was off. <laughs> I was way off. It's me. Pretty sick, dude. I didn't know. <laughs> Thought I was playing episode 20. Jeez. Appreciate the introduction, though. Damn. Could have been less in your face, but alright, I'll take it. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in. With breaking and entry incidents up 40% I was going to say, they did look like movie tickets. <clears throat> and we have breaking news tonight. Five Those are the ones from his family. In custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh, we did get it. I thought she took it. What the heck? So this is pretty interesting. You actually get to, like, look around and uh, choose for what you want. So let's go ahead and look at this, the codex. Wait, what? Oh, this is like documentation? Yeah, alright, we'll move on from this. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. Am I blind? Where's the data drive? You're really just calling it the back computer? Oh, I can walk. Oh my god. I was gonna say, you're, you're really calling it the back computer? Just, it's the computer, bro. Someone else would call it the back computer. You calling it the back computer is kind of weird. Alright, here we go. Thanks, game. I apparently needed that hint too, because I was struggling. Didn't even know I could damn walk. That chair looks super uncomfortable. I mean, it's all metal. It was so important. Yeah, encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet, I always find you here in what a dark, fuck? damp cave y in front of a computer. Um. I like the cave, bro. I'm more at home here than the rest of that. This is the man cave. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Nobody would know. It's our fucking house. Resume. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. You mean the one where you're sitting through the friggin' Near the desk? That's a good angle. Mm, this is cool. Oh wow, this is cool! Um, now what are we looking for? This oh. is a map of the Eastside Shoreline. Right. Found it! But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. In the meantime, make me a sandwich. Think so. <laughs> oh, he did. Shit. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. I would have been tempted to be far less polite. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much control. harder to remove from a tuxedo. 
I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she <laughs> new to town? Just a silhouette of her cheeks. Before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Look up the Miss Cheeks over here. Found her. Yeah, there's a picture, obviously. Thought we didn't do much searching. Uh, crimes, burglary, petty, petty larceny, new criminal on the scene tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't lean, leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Well, well, I mean, we grabbed her butt, and what more do you need to know? No, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? That's Penguin? He looks so different. Few burglaries, break-ins. Density of her cheeks was 0.5. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. Uh, I don't hide, bro, my bitch. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. Shaving! If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. They had guns, They're I had scratches. More than ever. You have to be careful. Uh, but the city needs us! I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this what? city. You know Notice what? Notice what? For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh yes, <laughs> you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Ah, <sighs> old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Yeah, take it. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed, you two were thick as thieves. <laughs> Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I... I haven't the faintest idea. Well, give him a chance, man. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. <laughs> I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. He looks a bit different than what I normally see him as, you know, penguins usually short, chubby, suit, cane, basically looks like a penguin, <laughs> but we'll see. This doesn't look safe. I mean, we can kick ass, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sometimes the way he walks freaks me out. It looks like he, it's a cross between him having to take a dump and the fact he's got fake Where legs. Or, or having to take a dump and having fake legs. Cobble Pot Park. Oh look, oh, look at this. The decor is lovely. Oh shit, what the heck? I was trying to walk up to it. Oh, ball sacks. Let's look at the graffiti. Tell me that's all we do. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I talked to him. Don't stab me, please. Last time I walked up to somebody, I got stabbed in my gonas. Oh, shit, I can just give change? Nice. Let me examine him first. <laughs> oh, sick guy. I'll give you some change, bro. There you go. Enjoy that. Tell me we give him more than... Thank you, sir. We're a fucking billionaire, dude. Aren't you carrying, like, hundies in your pocket? You should be giving him that. I gave him, like, just, like three quarters. That's what's left over from the soda I just bought. This is so weird. Mm -hmm. 
Running late, meet you by the statue. There's the statue, but no eyes. Well, he did say running late. Oh, great. How many people are around smoking Siggy's? Look at the graffiti. Wait, what graffiti? Oh, look at this wall. Hmm, it's troubling. <laughs> the whiteness is a bit disturbing to me. It kind of looks like this. You know? At least the, the penguin I know of, anyway. Is that him? Watch wallet oh, cash. Oh, great. I knew it. Goes through you. Awesome. You heard him, man. I knew you weren't just smoking a ciggy. The hell are you waiting for? Uh, huh? I've got nothing. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I've got nothing. And <laughs> him. What? You're not even looking at me. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. the moment! Enjoy it. Come here. I think that'll do. Damn. Oh, shit. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Q. What? Did he hurt me? Stay down. Oh, fuck. Can you not? Oh, damn. The elbow to the neck. Get knocked out, dude. Look at that. Ball status. Be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Shit. <laughs> How are you gonna do that to yourself? Oh, enjoy it. That's the second time that happened to that guy. My park. Mine. You hear that? Damn. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You got a little, uh. Hey. Good as new. Should I do the Woo! same? <laughs> that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, oh, thanks for the help. Needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. <laughs> this park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. I think that this place oh, is whack. <laughs> they put so much work in here. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Oh, sorry, right? Now That's kind of insensitive. Is this park. Both I'm, of those other ones are. I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. You just showed up. himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> I wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Uh, he wasn't, he really wasn't invited. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. But he's gonna, he said we shook his On hand. That, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... 
Fuck, you just put a... It'd be a tree to watch you make pavement. Oh, jeez. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's Hey, I'm not the enemy, bro. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen. Don't what? Am I not here? In this fucking shit place? I've got great affection <laughs> Do we not just fight off some thugs I together? Really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Dude. <laughs> Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. You're kidding. All right then. Press conference for new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on South Side of Park. Damn, Alfred, you text fast as shit. You're like the Walking Dead. Or not Walking Dead. You're like the uh, the freaking Life is Strange people. Those people text fast, man. You can barely read the first one after they send the next one. It's like a paragraph long. All right, well, I guess we're making friends everywhere, huh? Freaking mobsters, old friends that are thieves and whatever. Future home of Thomas and Martha Wayne, Memorial Hospital. Your chin, dude. It's almost to the point where you can't get through doorways, just saying. Mr. Wayne, over here. Right here. This way. <laughs> Look at her face. Bruce, Bruce. Um, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Let's be, let's be like, you know, nice. Morning, Might be Mr. a dick. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but... Boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. That was a cringe joke. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Alfred, I'm busy. Shit. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, Fuck. lacking. Uh, and the rate of death and suicide now. inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And we're still those who do get out. Or God forbid, escape. I can't get caught, man. More dangerous than before they went right. in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, <laughs> with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility, one that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Doesn't look very secure, though. Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Arkham Asylum has some bad people in it. <laughs> Um, crime is rampant. I mean, the sick need our help. Let's be, let's be sympathetic. Mental health issues. There are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside they're suffering. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. Um... Together we can change. With this the other two sound bad. <laughs> and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Yeah. I like that. Everyone's eyes are always shut. What the fuck? Y'all Today, sleeping on me? On the anniversary <laughs> of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. Dude, that went perfect. That was like the best speech ever. That was great. <laughs> Everyone's so uh, happy. Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so... <laughs> the 20 people that are here. Oh, you great. first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? 
What happens to the old building? Um, its day has passed. Shit! I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens in jeopardy. It is if you've seen it. We well, maybe can not. do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob. Open your fucking eyes. <laughs> into your home. Um I guess it's a free country. That's a, I'm, I'm going. Well, I think Mr. Falcone. I'm going political. Just like anyone else in this. City. You know, he general statements. About Harvey Dent, your next mayor. Next question. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital. Remember? Stop it! Ignore. Fuck. Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions what? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. What? Care to comment? I didn't know about this. Uh, let's doubt it because I don't, it's, you know, that's, that's, I don't know about that. And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family what? legacy built on Let me fucking answer. I'm planning to say. How long has your family oh, been shit. with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne? Source is wrong, text? bitch. Can I, is this more is this more options? I think you should fuck. check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Damn. Wayne. Mr. Wayne, how long has your family been dealing with Falcone? You just asked that. Give me a second. Be true? They're not. Did you know about this, Bruce? What no, let me answer you? your questions. I'm not saying fuck all you. Fuck all you. Which controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, Alfred, shit. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. I know. Inside the manor. Oh, great. Oh, shit. Alfred, just lock it up. There's no way they're going to find it. I mean, didn't we hide it behind a bookshelf or something? That's normally what people do when they're hiding stuff. Who let them in here? They have a warrant. Aren't they supposed to contact hey, you hey, first? Careful. I guess not. Put it back. I'm afraid we. Yeah, they're not. They're not. They don't have to. Says who? This warrant. Everyone has insanely thick chins. I had the boys turn the lights off. Keep a low profile. You're, you're making a mistake. What? There's got to be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Because Alfred, of the interview? Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. Yeah, I got a lot of expensive shit here, man. I meant you know? what I said about not personal. I have some gold encrusted wean piece clamps in my bedroom. Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Okay, well, what do you expect to find then? Taxes. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. What the heck? It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Yeah, but mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Um, uh, friends with the DA. Why not? The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. <laughs> Damn. I don't know Everyone makes that joke. Up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. There go my wing piece clamps. Really? Bet you that's a picture of our parents, man. Man. I knew it. Luckily, it's just the frame. We could get, we could like replace the picture elsewhere. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You. Don't have to do this. Mm. 
Yeah, he kept those tickets the whole time. I knew those tickets looked hella old. Bruce. Doesn't sound like a dying woman saying. <laughs> Bruce? Can't you see him beating off? Get out of here! I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... I'll just put my wing piece away. Keep showing up uninvited, lady. This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need well, to fight this. What's your side of this? What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof knew it still allegations like this they, they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after me obviously the sender didn't identify themselves we have no idea who it could be how is I mean, that's not evidence no one's even done their due diligence you can't, on this yet you can't report on that that's slander the fumble they grabbed the ball and ran not every day you get to go after a it's politically motivated Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. And Hill's with freaking Falcone. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> well. You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. They can't really Everyone do that. we will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, <sighs> not wild speculation. It's she's probably right, to be honest. I'll do it. I think it's the right move, man. On the record then. Whenever you're ready. Uh I mean you really can't do that. You know what I'm saying? My family's innocent? I guess so. <laughs> The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized that's a, crime. That's a definitive statement that's right there. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. That's what I'm talking about. That's good. That's a good statement. You're going to beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. Except when you're on top. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, seriously, like... If, if they have an anonymous source, that's not really a reliable source. Like, you can't just publicize it, it like that. Everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this. You should have said the that <laughs> on the tape. It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. A warrant? There's Big Chin again. What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were Oh, yeah, he should. He would have had to approve it. That's right, actually. That press conference turned into a bloodbath. You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. <laughs> Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. That girl with her face in the flower? Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. I'll do this one. It's just not good enough, Harvey. Oh no, that's not what I meant. I'll look into this. I swear. Well, at least it didn't come off as I bad. Just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? You'll go general that again. That's exactly what I intend to find out. Easy, Bruce. 
Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. I'll do it myself, bro. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Fuck. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. Yeah, some oh, rough sections. No, just glad you made it. <gasps> My punch. It shows. Oh. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. We know who each this other are. Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting Ooh. anything. Just a lot um, of nonsense. I think well, Harvey hasn't mentioned you. Welcome a change of topic. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What we must not give good, uh... It's Selena. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Selena Kyle. What the heck? It's a strong grip you've got there. It's a loose one. Your fingers are all like... Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around mm -hmm. Gotham. Introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. I'd take that ride. Meet anyone interesting? Meet anyone interesting? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. Mm. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you see the guy? It's not your fault. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Hmm. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you Ooh, got what away is it you with do? the black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've Thanks. got it under control. <laughs> do you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, you know. I'll handle it. Shit! Someone at my office I, has I, to know what's going on. I didn't say anything. That's yeah. such a... Fake candle. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Oh no. The tension builds. Ween piece rises. Nipples harden. <laughs> Ooh. Train signifies remembrance. Nice to yep. meet the real you. Likewise. Ooh, playing playing the savvy game. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. Damn. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. Well, sorry about the eye. <laughs> sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry. That's not good. That. That's not good. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. She's bragging about it. Yet. We came off with three scratches. She came out with a straight black me. eye. Damn. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. The bitch but is you. like a tight bat suit. Why take the risk? I have my reasons. I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. What do you mean? How disappointing. We you didn't even buy me dinner yet. We're sitting at a coffee table with a fake frickin' light. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you? Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am, I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. 
And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. All right, Catwoman isn't necessarily bad. I'm avoiding them. Well, At least in the lore, you know. Help. You got it. At least I don't Can think I she do? is. You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address now. No, give me the drive. <sighs> please, let's 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 be let's be sentimental. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. I'm trying to help. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Not that far off. Oh shit, great. Better hurry. You seem pretty relaxed for being late to a to a, a life okay here? and death meeting. You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. <laughs> he looked like he was tweaking okay. when he was getting up. Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. And don't forget to change into your suit. That's weird. Why'd you say that? I'm in a suit. Bitch. It would have been so funny if we were like, okay, I'll stay for a drink. Like, we're the ones helping you. You should not be encouraging us to stay. <laughs> if we stayed for a drink, you'd be freaking boned. I wish we would have we would have had the choice. The warehouse. No sign of or I did that just to piss her off. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Oh, wow. Is that cop dead, dude? Oh! Got a flower. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. Jeez, man. Are those guts? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, Gross. good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon. Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Jeez. Those are intestines. Look at that. <laughs> Exploded human remains. Let's look at them. Nothing left to bury. Jeez. Scorch marks. Some some got blown up, man. Analyzing. Fuck, what are you raving from bat from like Teen Titans? Chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile what? stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. The scorch marks to the exploded dude. Oh, this is cool, actually. Wow. All right. I like this. We're, like, actually be investigating Whatever here. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. He wasn't even standing really next to it. Like, he was standing kind of next to it, but look look at how far away that is. Right? That's pretty far to turn into that. I mean, you would get blown back, like this guy or something. You know? Like, if it blew up here, and he's standing here, that's a pretty big radius to get turned into that, some chunks, dude. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Yeah, damn straight. Well, this guy got fucked up. Shot cop. Look at this. It's a cop. Shot cop. It's a cop. <laughs> the white rose, man. White rose. It's got thorns on it. Careful. Falcone's calling card. Oh. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, uh, sir. Unless somebody knew knows that and placed it there to, to, to make it look like it was him. To stir up some some bad shit, you know? 
How'd you end up there? The heck? No. Bad. Oh! Clawed off face? Are you sh- flashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Anything but, Alfred. Anything but. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna make me keep staring at it. Can I leave? Thank you. <laughs> Let's look at something else. Skylight Club. See, that's a good clue, because it was hidden. It wasn't out in the open, you know what I'm saying? The other one could have been placed there. Ripped off it. What happened to you? Oh, burnt cop. Shit. Wait, what? He had to have been dressed again, you know what I'm saying? How do you just, like... How is your, just your face burnt, but not your clothes? This burnt head. Been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? What the fuck? Someone shot a flare into his mouth? What are we doing? <gasps> oh! Use to find the bullet? Oh, shit! Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. Wow. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing wow. the aforementioned boom. I'm sorry, dude. Holy crap. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. This is all just so delicious, dude. Oh, so maybe he scratched his do his face off, right? Let's link it to this. A cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. Are you fucking kidding God. me? How? Someone to do that. How would he even do it? A nerve agent could make them psychotic. Wow. See, look, that's awesome. We can. Freaking piece shit together like that. How, what, what do we link this to, though? All right, let's open the door. Maybe maybe uh, we'll find something there. Because I think what happened was the reason I was looking at the door was because I think something went through the door and hit that guy. You know. So we got to go in here and check it out. Let's just hope it's not a trap. Shift Q. Shift Q. Jesus. Yep, look at that. See that? That's what I'm talking about. Looks like a bullet started this. Exactly. A bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. We already this figured this out. Normal. The point of entry is melted. We know what it is. Let me do this. Can I walk inside? Oh, I can't. All right, we're linking. I knew it. Man, look at this. I mean, it wasn't that hard to figure out, but come on now. Without even any hints, bossing it. Linking to... Scarch, Scorched Dome. I'm digging it, man. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Well, here we go. We get to see it now. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. And then more cops showed up. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Shit! <laughs> but then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Jeez. It was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. So the sniper's like the only one that lived. Men got what they wanted and escaped. I guess not. 
Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with a phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. All right, let's, let's uh, oh, we can grapple. Yeah. Whoa, how am I gonna do this through the? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one first because I want to see how to how I could possibly do it through the shelf. No. What? <laughs> All right, E. Let's check this out. Whoa, dude, new kinds of drone technology, guys. Oh, oh, we found it right away. Check that out. <laughs> Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Not necessarily. How did how did the bullet come through that 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 tanker then? What the heck? Uh oh, look at cigarette. Wow, it's DNA right there. Hmm. Killing time. Look at the This is the right spot. So where did he go? The window. Look, he climbed out of the window. It's got his wean piece mark right there. Oh wait, never mind. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Well, there he is. Time to go to work. Oh shit. Why don't we have that active all the time, just in case anybody's listening? Are you good, bro? What's up? Oh! Whoa! My turn. See what I mean? You can't be relaxing. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney. Why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Slam him into the wall. <laughs> I ain't telling you, Jack. Oh, damn. Enjoy that. You trying to scare a confession out of me? Oh, we're taking break. your bones will. Oh. Whoa. Oh damn, turn him into a punching bag. Ooh. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Oh shit. Give me a reason to stop. Give me a reason to stop. You know, oh, you can shit. bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Oh my All god. The inside. Oh shit! <laughs> Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit me, hit me! Let's intimidate him. Ooh! Well, let's intimidate a little bit. <laughs> Scare Tell tactics, me. boy! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. I was we had to the find way. it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Balcony wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. oh I start here oh, and fuck. keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals, there's some kind of explosive, a weapon. I don't know. Balcony <laughs> said he'd use them soon. Used where? That's all I know. Oh. I swear, I swear. I told you everything I know. No, I don't want to break it. An animal. Right click to back out. I was just here for a pickup. Okay, I'm fine, dude. You're, you're good. You told me the truth, all right? Jesus Christ. No. God. Should we talk to him? It's Montoya. Send a cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Ooh, I'm gonna talk to him. Everyone you Ooh, got. please. No, because then he's gonna think it's me, right? Hey! Freeze. Oh yeah, because they were gonna find me anyway. Stand right. down, Montoya. No. Oh, thank God. You was about to kill me. You wanna tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Arrest him. 
Good to see you too. To wow, see so you close. Too. You know each other? Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're Say taking this too far, Bruce. Wow, man. That was intense. I really liked that investigation scene, man. Hopefully that wasn't you too boring for you guys. I enjoyed it. An animal. You beat that man half to death. We didn't break nothing. What do you mean? No, we didn't. We slammed him around a little bit. Hit a barrel. Raise you this way. And put some tension on his arm. We we did. did. I think I. that was that was pretty non-violent. He's still alive. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> for what? Next time it might be the morgue. Is he made of glass? Especially what a bitch. Now, during this preposterous attack on your family. Oh my god. You must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Got a point. Man, you will turn that shit right around. Bruce, good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice I won't. falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. No, don't fucking tear up the tickets. Are you shitting me? I won't forget. Neither <laughs> will I. I would never do that. That's like the last thing you have of them. Well, Even if they are covered in a little blood. Back into the fray again. Alright guys, I think we're going to end it right there. I'm not sure how much of this is left, but I think it's a good place to end it considering all that's transpired so far since we started this. Uh, but man, I gotta admit, this is really freaking entertaining. I don't know about you, you'll have to let me know of course, because I'm looking for your feedback here. But, my personal opinion, you know? I, I really enjoyed it. And hopefully, again, hopefully that little investigation scene wasn't boring for you guys. I had to skip around a little bit uh, to make it go a bit quicker, you know what I'm saying, than what it was in real time. Uh, but uh, it was really cool. I actually really enjoyed the whole investigation process. I, I like things like that, so who knows. But either way, again, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely make sure you rate the video what you think it deserved. If you did enjoy, please consider sharing the video as well. That kind of stuff really helps me out a lot, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or any social media really, or even word of mouth with your friends, that's really awesome too. Of course, it directly helps me as well as the entire community and is greatly appreciated. So with that being said, if you want to become a sage in training, make sure you subscribe today. And as always, this has been Mr. Bayzy, your favorite sage, and I'll see you in the next video.